Hello and welcome back to the series for Python Leap Code Solutions. This is problem number five, longest palindromic substring. And for this problem, it's given a string S, return the longest palindromic substring in S. The first example gives us an input string of BABAD, and our output would be BAB, as that's the longest substring that is also a palindrome. Another option would be ABA. And example two, the input string is CBBD, and our output would be BB, as that is the longest substring that is palindrome. Let's go through an example. For this problem, we're gonna be using expand around center, which basically takes each index and will expand outward from that until one, one of the ends has reached either the start, the end, or the value to the left and to the right are no longer equal. For this example, we'll start with n, and we will start at the center, expanding outward until either the left side reaches the start of our string, the right side reaches the end of our string, or the left side character no longer equals the right side character. So starting with n, it's pretty quick. You have n as your center, and you go to expand outward, and there's nothing to the left of n. So this just returns 1. You go on to a, you do the same thing. a is your center. You want to expand outwards. So you look to the left one, it's n. You look to the right one, it's b. These are not equal, so we're going to move on to our next one. With b as our center, we go to the left one. a on the left is not the start. a on the right is not the end, and they are equal. So we expand out again. Then we get to n and c, and we see that they're not equal, and that's where our substring palindrome ends. So in that case, we're returning three, which is ABA. Next, we move on to A, this, the second A, and we expand outward. And right away, it just returns with one because B and does not equal C. Then from C, we expand outward again, and on our left, we have an A, on our right, we have an A, so they're equal. And our left A is not the start, our right A is not the end, we're still good, we're gonna expand outward again. This time we have B on the left, it's not the start. We have D on the right, it's not the end, but they are not equal, so it's no longer a palindrome. And so that will only be three there. Moving on to this A, left one is not the start, right one is not the end, but C does not equal D. Moving on to D, A is not at past the start, F is not past the end, but they're not equal. And then same thing with F. So all of these return one except for ABA and ACA. So either of those would be fine to return as a solution. Let's jump into the code. First thing we wanna do is define our start and our end. Next thing we wanna do is define our expand around center function. We'll use this function in the longest palindrome function to take our center value and expand around it. This function takes in the string and the center point. We have it defined as the left and right so that we can account for even and odd length palindromes. This function will basically decrease our left side and increase our right side, expanding outwards until either the left side hits the beginning, the right side hits the end, or the left side character no longer equals the right side character. We'll use a while loop to do this. And once we finish expanding outwards, we just want to return the max length of the palindrome substring. And that will do by doing the right side minus the left side minus one. That's it for the expand around center function. So let's go back to longest palindrome. At this point, we want to loop through our string and we'll use a for loop for that. The first thing we'll want to do is call our expand around center function with our string and our current center, which is i. And we'll do this twice, once for even and once for odd length palindromes. This first one is using i as our center, and the second one is using i and the one to the right of it as the center. Uh, this will be the case for even ones. Once we have these two values, we can use the max function to just take the larger one. Once we have this length, we then wanna update our start and end values, and this is just our way of keeping track of what our palindrome is within the string. We'll only update the start and end values if the current max length is greater than the difference between our previous end and start values. Mm -hmm. 
these double division signs is used to round down when doing division. At this point, we're done looping through our string and we can return our largest substring palindrome. And we do this using our start and end values we've been updating throughout the loop. That's it for the code, so let's run this. So I did make one mistake, it's, it's not finding the function we defined. So my mistake was that I have this indented one too many. So if you just highlight it all, shift tab it over, should be good now. Yep, and they're all accepted and let's submit. And our solution's accepted. So that's it for this video. If you like this video and wanna see more content like this, please check out my channel and thanks for watching.